been maybe two weeks since I sat down to do this. Um, I've been home for a while. Back in the bay. Things have been going good. I <clears throat> been delivering some prints of this painting that I just finished and uh, spent some time with some family and kind of just like preparing for the rest of the year. Just making sure um, I kind of have all like my ducks in a row. Um, I feel like the next few months are going to be really busy with with painting again. I mean, I haven't painted in like a month, maybe since like January 3rd or 4th. It's been crazy going back and forth to LA, just trying to find, um, you know, a place that, you know, me and my partner really like, and at the same time is like gonna be safe um, for my health. So I'm gonna be going back to LA um, at the end of this week uh, just to handle some work and um, and look for a place again. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that this time, you know, we can find a spot so I can just sort of get settled for the year. Um, you know, I miss, I miss making images. I haven't really been able to do that. But for me, man, so I think where he's at is good. Yeah. You go over there. Yeah. I had to do these like allergy tests when I got back. And um, I mean, it wasn't the most uncomfortable thing, but there's a lot of things that have been eye opening. Oh, I found out I'm allergic to like fragrance which is pretty typical, I think. Um, I'm allergic to rubber, leather. Um, so I'm gonna have to make some changes, you know, coming up. All right, right the shot. Oh. Some irritated ones for sure. Really? Yeah. Are you are you getting? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd like to see it. <sighs> Guess I can't wrestle anymore. Uh, a big reason why I got these allergy tests are because I notice every time like I roll, um, you know, the next day or so, like my skin has a hard time. And I, I mean, like I already have eczema, so um, just trying to manage that. You know, I wish I wish I could train more um, without such a, a detriment. Uh, but it's a it's a work in progress. the last thing I really wanted to talk about, um, I guess this is a very different subject or topic than the rest of this video. Um, like I, I grew up with the idea of like perfectionism was like a good thing. And you know, the more, the more I dive into art, um, you know, the more that I realize that you know, like perfect doesn't exist or it might be too subjective to actually like measure. Um, and it never did me any good. And I don't think it does anyone any good. Um, like the strive for perfection, like what, what does perfection even mean? You know, what is perfect? 
I think that, you know, there's a few reasons why I like took to that belief or that concept. And um, I think one of them is like a fear of mediocrity. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure where that comes from. I wonder how common that is. Um, and two, I just like didn't ever want to feel like inadequate. I just feel like, uh, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I guess at the, the base, like, not good enough for anything. You know, I look back to, you know, like, I, you know, I haven't been painting for that many years, but, you know, when I look back and, um, you know, people started offering me money for my work, it was hard for me to say what I felt it was worth. Um, even though, like, I sincerely believed that it was worth that money, I don't think that I believed I was worth that. It was very hard for me to, to make statements like that. Very interesting. But I, I don't know. I, I'm still, I'm still kind of, like, navigating, like, where this blog is going to go and, like, you know, what I'm willing to say on here. Um, but I hope that, you know, um, I can raise some questions um, and others that have helped me um, progress in life. And one of them is, um, you know, what do I believe perfect is and why, why is that so important to me?